So should you sit in the middle? I don't know, why don't you sit in the middle? I'll sit in the middle. Okay. One night, Miles went to a party. He said he was just hanging out with a few friends, but he later posted a picture on Instagram and there was like 50 people there. It was a few people. 50 is not a few. Plus some of them were drinking, I could see from the picture. But I wasn't drinking. Yeah, but you were in that environment, so you could have. I felt a little weird knowing that you were following me. It was kind of like hanging out with your friends, but having your mom in the same room. It would be enough that she can feel comfortable in knowing what I'm doing, but not needing to know every single little detail or see every single comment or everyone I follow. How do you have so many followers anyway? Well, I only post shots I think are really good. A couple of bad posts can really mess up my feed. Overall, you do really well, but I just want you to know the dangers that are out there. I want you to enjoy your social media at the same time, be wise about it. If it's a future employer or a college or something, they always do have to be a little bit conscientious of what you're posting. I really want an Instagram account, but my mom won't let me have one. When she's old enough, she'll get one. Besides following my son, I also follow a bunch of nature photographers. Oh yeah, yeah, you showed me, right? Yeah, those are awesome. This one too. Heidi and Miles also showed me how to set up my own digital avatar. It's called Bitmoji. Now she uses it all the time when she texts us. It's super cheesy, Mom. It's her Bitmoji saying, I love you. I can't help it, it's true. I like to be a good role model on social media by posting positive comments, things that uplift people, encourage, uh, never take away from somebody else's person. Can I take a picture with your phone? Yeah, sure. It's like...